Way, way back, there was a time when cooking didn't involve stressful steps like peeling back the container cover or poking holes in the film covering your chalupa. Then there's the whole figuring out how to punch in 50% power for four minutes before stirring and continuing for two more minutes at full power. <sighs> I'm talking about the historic era of the stove. Yes, the stove. Sure, we still refer to the top of the oven as the stove, but seriously, people, those are burners. So let's travel back in time to take a look at how our great-grandmothers used to cook. The idea of cooking over an open fire has a certain romance to it, as does a kettle stewing in a fireplace. But when those were the only means for preparing hot meals, the practice was not one of leisure, but instead danger and a bit of brawn. In the mid 1800s, the cast iron cook stove would come into homes, bringing with it convenience and culinary comfort. The cast iron stove was the major technological innovation in the kitchen during the 19th century. The Henry Ford's curator of domestic life, Jeannie Miller and I sat down for a stove-side chat. When do the first cook stoves come into existence? There are cook stoves available in the 1820s and 1830s. By the 1850s, a lot more people are using them. Actually, the White House didn't even have a cook stove until 1850. Until 1850? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did the stove and the oven always go together? Yes, there was a stove burners, as we would think of them and the oven. As you see from this 1870 cook stove, the oven is in the back, and oh. that's really great because the- I thought this was the oven. No, that's the firebox. Oh. That's where you put the wood. And then most cook stoves in the mid 19th century would have four to six, what they called boiling holes. We would think of them as burners. As burners. Yeah. And despite its added convenience, there was still plenty of labor required. You had to chop enough firewood to fuel the cook stove through the year. It might take you about an hour to clean your stove every day. Why? Because you had to remove all the ashes from the firebox. And then, of course, you get a lot of soot. And then, because they were cast iron, they could rust. Ah, so cleaning out the ash, wiping down the soot, polishing the cast iron, there's a lot that goes into this. There is a lot that goes into it. However, it was still way more convenient than cooking a fireplace. There still was a lot of guesswork involved, say, in baking bread, right? I don't see a temperature control here. Yeah, there were no temperature controls on these stoves. So you had to develop the sense of how hot the stove was. Those innovations would come too. And around the turn of the century, gas stoves took off. Once homes were powered, electric stoves gained popularity as well. And while technological advancement continues to feed our human need for innovation, it's what we do with it that matters.